Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Monster Hunter while on PC. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to take a look on your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we're going to optimize your game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're gonna start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processor. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then uh, with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power. Uh, back then, uh, we were recommending to use the best performance, but now, honestly, just use balance. You will have better boost clock, longer boost clock. Uh, I did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance, and honestly, I'm getting better result with balance. So super important to do that. Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS. Super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also, make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest updates from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radeon driver if you have a Radeon car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now, the graphic parameter. So first of all, screen mode, make sure that you're playing borderless. You don't have a full screen uh, exclusive option over there. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native. Uh, you don't want to lower your resolution over there. We're going to use some upscaling technique. 
I always uncap my uh, frame rate, honestly, and I always unlock my V-Sync to have the lowest input lag possible. But if you're struggling with thermals, it's not a good idea. Just lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz that you have on your monitor. For example, you're playing on a laptop, 60 Hertz monitor, just lock it at 60. After that, uh, we're going to go to the graphic parameter. We have three page. So here I want to mention everybody has a different goal. So I'm going to show you which parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. But it's, sometimes it gives you a lot of FPS, but the image quality de decreases a lot. So you will have to take some decision de depending on your goal. So first of all, uh, upscaling technique over there. So if you have an RTX card from NVIDIA 4000 series or more recent, my recommendation is go DLSS, activate frame generation, uh, and use your upscaling mode at quality. Less than quality, honestly, in this game, the game looks very blurry, so my recommendation is go quality. And uh, DLLA, it's, you will have the best image quality, but you're going to lose 10 to 12% in your FPS. Frame generation is super important. It will provide you something like 40% in your FPS, so definitely using it. If you have a Radiant card or a RTX 3000, 2000 series or something older, I recommend to go with FSR3 with frame generation of FSR over there. So uh, that's a cool thing because uh, technically the RTX 3000 and 2000 don't have the frame gen from uh, the LSS, but from the NVIDIA tech. So definitely use FSR enable and same thing with the quality mode over there. Don't go lower than that. The game looks very blurry. So I'm going to put back my DLSS. After that, uh, we have texture quality. Something that you really need to look at for, it's your VRAM usage over there. Uh, make sure that you don't go too crazy with this one. Uh, right now, I'm at 6.9, so it's pretty, it's it's okay. Uh, my total is 23, uh, but it's 24 a gig of VRAM. So when you change your parameter, make sure that you always have like 10% empty to make sure that it's running well with other application. So texture quality, if you can use IS, go with it. IS also for texture uh, filtering quality. Mesh quality, I recommend to go with I. You're going to stabilize your FPS. And uh, the difference between medium and uh, I, it's like 1%. But I and IS, it's like 3%. So my recommendation, go with I. Pure quality, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a nice 4% boost in your FPS. Cloud quality, I recommend to go with medium. 6% boost over there. Grass and tree quality, medium. You're going to have like 2 to 3% boost in your FPS. And not a huge difference in your image quality with I. After that, grass and tree sway, you can definitely run this one at enable. Wind simulation, quality, eye, and water effect, enable. If you're struggling with the game, for sure, over there, go with disable, low, and disable. But those ones should not be a problem to run normally. After that, you have your shadow. Th those parameters will be huge, honestly. Uh, so shadow quality, if you go IS to medium, you can expect 12% boost in your FPS. You can low go lower than that, but the thing is, the game looks... Uh, your visual quality will decrease a lot without it. So uh, if you're struggling, for sure, go with low or low S. Distance shadow quality, go with low. Shadow distance with near, you can expect another 8% boost over there. Ambient light quality, I recommend to go with medium. Good compromise, 3% boost in your FPS. Contact shadow, this one, it's tricky. Um, it decreases a lot your image quality. So as you see, I disable the game's look a lot flatter than enable, but you're gonna lose like four to five percent over there. So it's question like, do you have those FPS or not? If not, uh, go to disable. If you have it, go with enable. NBL inclusion also this one is huge. Uh, it's like three percent for each bracket. I don't recommend to go with off because again the game looks too flat without it. So go medium. Bloom off, motion blur off, better visual over there, clarity. Uh, vignette effect also off. Screen space reflection, I, it really depends uh, on most modern GPU. It's not a huge deal, but uh, if you have something older, sometimes it can tank your FPS. So definitely take a look at this one. And scattering, put this one at off. The last page is your depth of feel. For sure, go with off for a better visual clarity. Uh, volumetric from this one is huge. You have like six to seven percent different between both. So my recommendation is go with low and variable rate shading. I recommend to go with off. You don't want your shading to change on the fly. So with the optimization optimization that you just did, you should be fine. So this is pretty much it. The game doesn't run well right now. I hope they're gonna optimize it. Maybe we'll have some also. Uh, uh, driver update from NVIDIA and Radian. 
And uh, the key here is really to use your frame generation. The 40% boost that you will have will give you a lot of fluidity in the game. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.